Hi guys, welcome back to the Chronic Illness Diaries. So today I have a visitor for you. This is Nishak. Are you going to talk to them? Are you going to say anything? Are you being silent? Are you being silent? What do you got to say? What's, what's you got to say? What? Mimi. What are you doing? You're not going to kick me, are you? You're not going to kick me. I didn't even touch you, you stinker. You stinker. Are you kicking me? Are you kicking me? You stinker. You stinker. Oh. <laughs> you stinker. I said spoiled. Yeah, I see you flipping that tail. Are you having an attitude? Shadrach. Shadrach. What was that? Bubba. What are you doing? You hear those fireworks? You hear those fireworks? Hmm? What's that? What is that? Your toy? It's your toy. You gonna lick it? Yeah, there's just some fireworks, huh? With this one? No, you don't want that one? With this one? Get it, get it, Bubba, get it. Kick it, get it. Oh, get that lion. Get that lion, I see your tail flopping. Get it, get it. Mimi, are you gonna help him? Get it, get it. Oh, you're not supposed to be up there, stinker. Bubba, get it. Get it. Oh, no, don't get me. Get the toy. No, get the toy. No, get the toy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, Bubba. Get it. So, a few days ago, I went to put on mascara, and typically I don't even wear makeup. It's just not top of my priority list. Like, top of priority for me is just surviving. So anyway, I had went to put on mascara, and lo and behold, my eyelashes are basically gone. What the heck? And then someone had taken a video of me, and I noticed that my hair is disappearing too. Seriously. Like, why can doctors not tell you? Why is it they will not tell you things like this? Like, these are signs of Graves' disease, which I understand. Yes, I have Graves' disease, but they never told me that my eyelashes and my hair would fall out. Sorry, I look like a mess. Honestly, I really don't care at the moment. The last 12 hours or so have been really hard. Um, I keep passing out. My blood pressure is really low. And this happens with dysautonomia. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. I am shaky. Um, anyway, with dysautonomia, I have more problems in the summer. And... Um, when it's above, basically above 65 degrees in my house, I tend to pass out a lot more. Um, one of the places I pass out at the most is just at the kitchen sink, like washing dishes, and I don't even have that many dishes. It was like six things to wash. Um, but anyway, I will insert a clip of my blood pressure and heart rate shortly after passing out um, after this clip. <clears throat> Sorry. So any anyway, I was my brain is scattered. <laughs> um, 
I was telling you about dysautonomia. So when, like basically dysautonomia causes problems with all the things that you do, that your body does without thinking about them. So like pupil dilation, um, digestion, breathing, your heart rate, blood pressure, um, like bowel and uh, urine motility, um, bladder is the word I was looking for, um, bowel and bladder motility, and like the dilation and constriction of your blood vessels. So when it's hot, um, your blood pre or your blood vessels expand and then enough all the blood basically goes to your feet when you're standing up and gravity is pulling the blood down and enough <clears throat> enough blood doesn't get to your to your brain and this causes a lot of problems it can cause you to pass out it causes you to forget your words like as you can see often in my videos I'll be talking and then I just completely lose like where I was at or I forget the word that I'm looking for so um, it really really stinks it's it's hard to deal with and out of all the problems that I have it is absolutely the worst to to deal with so I'll check back with in with you later when I'm feeling a bit better